Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a little review and on the water demo of the NK300. I just got this uh, delivered the other day. It's the newest motor by Newport Vessels. It's um, 1300 watts. And I ran it a little bit yesterday on a different mount and uh, it's pretty quick. It kind of surprised me right to start with. So I'm gonna show you a couple things that are a little bit different on this one versus the 180 and then we'll get out there on the water and we're gonna go through some speed tests, some different battery consumption models and I'll let you guys know what this thing can really do. So anyway, let's dive into it. First thing I noticed on this one, which I really like is they've added two um, quick disconnects for the throttle. They got one up here, actually, just by the throttle so you can disconnect your cord. You don't have to drag your throttle cable around. Also coming standard is the hydrofoil, which is really nice. Um, one thing I did notice was yesterday I ran it on my one objective mount. Um, I know if you guys watched any of my stuff in the past, I normally run a one objective trolling motor mount, which I really like <clears throat> because when it tilts up, it tilts up at an angle and gets past your um, power pole. Problem with this motor is, as you can tell, the lower unit is quite large and it's got a lot of weight on that side. So when you tilt it up at an angle, it wants to spin around and uh, that's kind of an issue. So I went back with the regular Newport mount. Um, it's a lot sturdier and uh, I'll just have to figure out a different thing to do with my power poles but anyway i know that's not what y'all care about y'all just want to see how it does on the water so let's get out there stay tuned all right we're out of here on the water so let's get started we'll uh start at a nice trolling speed if you were to be going down the bank throwing a spinner bait or whatever so i'm at 11 percent and my speed is going up to right, right at 2.2 miles an hour 2.3 so it's got a lot of thrust in that lower end that big blade makes a big difference um let's go ahead and kick it up to 20. so at 20 percent we're going just over three miles an hour i don't know if you can see that three miles an hour at 20 percent and we're only running 120 watts so 120 watts I mean, your battery, you're gonna be able to go forever. I'll do the math and I'll put it on the little thing. I'm not gonna do the math in my head. But anyway, we'll have a little ticker going that'll show speed, percentage, wattage, and we'll say a 50 amp hour battery. We'll show you how many hours at each speed that you can run. So anyway, let's keep going. So let's crank it up to 30%. All right, so it, I'm at 31%, <clears throat> 228 watts, and 4.2 miles an hour. So it's pretty dang good. I mean, like, that's really good as far as battery consumption. So let's keep going. Uh, let's go ahead and jump it up to 40%. So at 40%, we're 336 watts and 4.7 miles an hour. And as you can tell here pretty quickly, as we start going up, our wattage and our battery consumption is gonna go way up, even though our speed's not really going up. And that's because we're gonna be getting past what the kayak can do efficiently here pretty soon. So we're gonna bump up to 50. All right, I'm at 50%. And at 50% is, uh, is uh, 464 watts and 5.1 miles an hour. 5.1, that's as fast as I was able to go with the NK, NK180. So I'm pretty happy with that. It's better battery consumption than the 180. And chances are, I mean, if you're running a uh, 36 volt battery, you've got more battery capacity than you would have had with a 24 volt anyway so you got a lot more range and this is basically this was wide open 
a couple days ago. So let's go ahead and crank it up. Let's see what it takes to get to six miles an hour. Here, we'll go ahead and show. So it's 70%, 765 watts, and I'm at five and a half. And that's what I was talking about. We basically doubled our battery consumption and we only increased, well, we went up by 25% or 50% on the battery consumption. And we only increased our speed by half a mile an hour. So we're starting to get into, you know, the, um, the mechanics of the boat is just not made for going fast. So let's see what 100% does. So 100%, you can see 1300 watts. That's what the bat or the motor is rated at. And I'm at 6.1 miles an hour. So. I might be able to adjust, you know, weight in the boat or the, um, the trim on the motor a little bit and get a little bit better. Um, but that's about all I'm getting out of it, 6.1, which one mile an hour faster is, a, is on the water is a good bit when you're only running five. So, I mean, we added 20% speed, um, but we're burning through the battery pretty quick at 1300. Uh, it probably would go, I'd say, hour and a half to two hours at this speed. Um, but like I said, I could be wrong with the math in my head. There'll be a little ticker going. Um, but let's drop it down to see what we can get and still get. Yeah, so I'm still running 5.8, down to 86%, and we're at 1040. So it's a sweet little motor. I really like the uh, the amount of thrust it has on low speeds. I mean, when you go to turn, it's got quite a little jerk because that big prop just moves so much more water. It doesn't have to spin up uh, like the little prop does to get your your initial speed. I mean, it's it's instant. Um, so when you go to run from an alligator, choo! because there's some big alligators out here on Sandy Cooper. But anyway, um, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this gave you some information. And um, so far, I do like the motor. I, I like that it's only got the one little handle. Um, I was bad about catching the, the bigger, bulkier handle. Even though it was low profile, the bigger handle did I'd catch my rod in every once in a while. This lower profile handle seems to be the trick. And having the little disconnect here is pretty cool. I can just undo that i can either leave this here or store it separately i don't have to worry about you know having my motor all of the cord and hold the little thing and try not to damage anything so having to be able to break it down separately is pretty sweet for storage and moving it on and off the kayak so anyway that about does it i'm um, out here on sandy cooper we got a tournament here in two days so i got another day and a half of practice and um, we're gonna try to find something, haven't found anything yet. So stay tuned for the tournament video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you got some information out of it. And uh, as always, make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you later.